All right, so once we have our grids fully set up, we now want to start going to apply that value onto our actual painting. So for this, I'm going to have a couple of different brushes to me. Um, so that way I can get detailed stuff with the detail brushes and I can get larger areas with the larger brushes. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working um, with the value of the face. So I know that that's a gray. Remember if I need it to be lighter, I am mixing in more white. If I need it to be darker, I'm mixing in more black. I can also kind of color check on my photo here. So once I see that, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. Uh, the biggest mistake that I see on this is that students do not use enough paint. Um, so with this first application especially, we can blend on top of this easily with other colors, but we do want to make sure that we get a nice solid base going down with each of that. And the good thing about paint is if I paint over something that I don't need or that I do need, I, it's really easy to go back and paint on top of that. So no worries um, there. Now the other thing is that I do not want to cover up everything that I've worked so hard to accomplish so far. So I'm gonna kind of paint around, just like we talked about this being kind of like a little coloring book page. Now I'm noticing values are going a little bit darker towards the edge of the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint those in slightly darker. And that's again something that I noticed when I was trying to trace out where my values were at. Now, this is gonna look real crazy for a little bit because like I said, we gotta make sure that we get that base value down first in order to build those other values on top of it. So this is just our base value. If you think about it in makeup terms, this is more like a foundation. Um, we're not going into the contouring or anything yet. So more like that foundation. So getting that all painted on. It is all right that I have a couple different values that I'm working with right now. All right, now that I'm here, start layering on those slightly darker values. Now, I don't want this to look really choppy, so once I get this darker value in, I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my brush. This is just water, and I'm layering over the top. And what you'll notice is that the water is gonna be a really nice blending agent for us. So I'm working on blending that. Now I'm using my paper towel. If it's got too much gray on the brush, my gray's getting a little dark. I'm using my paper towel to clean that off. Blending that to look nice and smooth. You don't want to see really choppy brush strokes. And I'm starting to look at the specific values on the face. So I'm noticing that there's a little bit of a darker value underneath the eyes. If it looks scratchy, make sure you get a little bit more paint on your brush or you can add a little bit of water. Either way will work. And then I'm seeing more dark values here. And starting to work to get those copied over. Getting a little more paint. Noticing that really dark value there. Really dark on the crease. I'll go back and get that with the detail brush. And then if I need, if it's getting too dark, I can just get a little bit of the lighter gray on my brush. And come back to work on that. Seeing another little dark value here. Getting that water on my brush to really smooth and blend that out. Okay, looking at the nose values next. See, and this crease here is going really dark. And up the bridge of the nose. Again, I'm using water on my brush to blend those values out. Noticing that it's going dark under here. Might wipe my brush off. Pick up a little bit more of that light gray and kind of carve it back in the other way.
I mean, as we see the values on her face, they look smooth, so I wanna really work to blend those values in together. Switching over to my detail brush to get the nostrils now, because those are a smaller area. I wanna make sure I have a smaller brush. It's good to make sure you have a foundation underneath this, otherwise um, we could be painting and there could be white behind it, which would be bad. So getting that other little shadow right underneath the tip of the nose. Here I'm noticing this nostril is slightly darker than the other side. Not quite that dark, so I'm gonna get a little bit of white on my brush. So I'm mixing this color straight onto the uh, painting. Now I'm also noticing where I'm getting areas of light coming in. So I'm seeing she's got a big highlight here on the center of the nose. She's got that white highlight a little bit higher up. Definitely seeing it on this creased area. And then we lose it the farther back it gets. So it's allowing me to continue to blend. Okay, definitely getting that lighter gray on this side. So again, as I'm working, I'm making sure that I've got multiple values going at the same time, multiple brushes available to me. And we really lose it on that side, so I'm gonna clear my brush out a little bit, keep picking up lighter values. Let's lighten that up. Okay, it looks like I'm about ready to start on the eyes. Uh, the whites of her eyes are just a very, very light gray. So again, if I want a color match, I can do that. I'm gonna start coming in. To get that done. Okay, her iris is almost black. We're gonna paint that in, oh no, that's not where I needed that to go. Again, good news about paint, I can pick up the color that I was using and just paint right over it, okay? Now I'm gonna go to get the black of the eyelash line. This is gonna be really tough. I use my pinky to anchor. Start right here. Noticing it gets really dark as we get to that outside corner but she's got those thick lashes on. Okay, now if I wanted to make that like a thinner line, that would be hard to do with my brush, so I would come back with my other gray, and I would keep lightening it up until it was where I needed it. I wanna make sure all the values are in a spot where I'm done with them before I do detail things like eyelashes. Because once I commit to that eyelash, that should be when I'm just about finished with those aspects. This is darkening that crease a little bit more. So again, when I'm going to put on those eyelashes, I'm gonna twist my brush to make sure that I have it at like the best point possible. And then, layering those lashes on. Also noticing that there's a nice little highlight on the lower lid that I missed. So I'm gonna get that little bit of paint. Lightly go in for that. And I'm seeing I missed it a little bit there as well. Also noticing that she's got a highlight in the eye that really makes eyes come alive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. 
Okay, so now I've got that eye totally finished and I'm gonna keep moving. So I'm going down to the lips now. Noticing that the lips are one of the darker values on the face, not quite that dark. So I've got a loaded brush going. Okay, noticing that the bottom lip has that highlight right in the middle of it. Whole new meaning to be careful with me on this little Cardi B business. Noticing that it gets really light there, um, that highlighted spot right kind of in the middle of the mouth. So I will even come back and build that highlight up a little bit more. Noticing that it gets a little bit darker on this side of the mouth. got the black value behind the teeth so behind the teeth underneath the lip we want to go in with that straight up black value and then we're noticing that that black value is still dark on that outside edge blends out to be lighter the farther from the center lip that it gets okay last move we want to look at is the hair so you guys can see how we would just repl replicate that process moving forward with the hair, we're noticing that it's straight black and in the same way that we did hair on our portraits, we wanna get a base va value down so that we can build the other values on top of that. So I'm starting with the black, just that straight black. And then as we know, within each of the hair values, there's gonna be a light, a medium, and a dark gray. And you can do this precisely if you want to, but I think it's more fun to get your brush loaded up with a couple of different values and then just kinda of let it happen. So to do that, I'm gonna dip a little bit of my brush in black, a little bit in white, and a little bit in that gray. So my brush is gonna look like that. And then I'm just going to get really fun texture going. Right, you guys got this, don't stress out. Be magical, keep painting. 